Folks, welcome back into Thriving with the TSP. Marty, this is my favorite fund of all of them, and it's a, it's a vanilla generic fund. It's tied to the S&P 500, basically. It's called the C Fund, and I think the younger you are, the more money you should have on the C Fund because it does have risk, but over the last 10 years, it's averaged about 13.8% return. That's, That's not bad, is it? That's Which fantastic. has outperformed any other fund they have available. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty good. That's fantastic. Yep. Now, let's talk about this, the uh, S&P 500. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the common stock fund, or I mean, it's, it's basically going to come very close to mimicking what you would see on yeah. a lot of periodicals, TV and stuff, is a, a quote-unquote index fund. You yeah. see that quite a bit. Every investment firm has those out there. So in that index fund, it's very, very mm -hmm. diversified. The money's invested in those S&P 500 companies, so they're large. Most of those are going to be dividend payers. So... You know, those are going to be some very, very high-quality stocks. And yep. looking at the performance, it's it's almost mimicked or done a little bit better than the overall market. So you can't you can't really find a knock there, Coach. Got low expenses and high potential, and I like mm -hmm. that combination right there. Now, keep in mind, in 2008, when we had the crash, it went way down, too. Mm -hmm. So nothing's for nothing here, and you're taking more risks than you are in the F fund and the G fund. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have to know this. But, but I really think that uh, you should have at least some of your money in the C fund if you're under 50 years old. Maybe even over 50, as long as you have some other strategies put up to make sure that you have a lifetime income established. Yeah, I, could, I couldn't agree more. And that, that common stock fund, that is for that, typically that younger, uh, that younger employee that's putting money in and because you've got a long time for retirement. Now, if, if you're getting ready to retire next year, you're not going to want to have 70, 80 percent of your money in the common stock fund. But it's found its place in there is, is to try to mimic the S&P 500 and, and the diversification and you hit it nail on the head as well, Coach. A big advantage to the TSP is the expenses. Yeah. They are very, very low. We've talked about it many times. We call them the financial termites. Yeah. They're, and we don't have many, any there. Not many there. <laughs> I mean, there are no UFOs, unidentified financial <laughs> objects. It's got, it's got everything people know about. There's no hidden games or gimmicks here. So, and when we look at the graph comparing the C fund to inflation over the years, it, it kills inflation. That's good. So it keeps you way ahead of the inflation curve. That's Anything great. else you want to add to that? I mean, it's, it's yeah. to me, it's, it's a lot of excitement. It gives you a lot of diversification. Uh, maybe too much diversification sometimes. You have 500 stocks, but hey, whatever. That's, it, it's good. It's good control, and it's a good way for you to at least have some risk without uh, taking way too much risk, and you get a good return that yeah. way. And, and if you have money in that C fund, and you, know, you turn on the television on Friday night, and they say where the market had gone up or the S&P 500 had gone up during the course of that week, there's a good chance you made money in the stock fund yeah. that week, yeah, in the C good. fund, so that's, that's, that's a good thing. So that's the one that we like the, the most as far as the risk options inside the, the thrift savings plan. But when we come back, we're going to talk about the S option and how that should be uh, you know, a small part of your portfolio as well.